Are you are you filming? Okay, wait, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> stop the camera. <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> I don't know, I'm recording though. Okay. Okay, wait, stop it, stop it. Pause. Seriously. Is it recording? Okay. My name is Sophie and I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to make um, cosplay armor out of craft foam. This is my first time cosplaying. I'm doing a female predator from Alien vs. Predator. Um, and I've never cosplayed before. It's my first time. So I was really overwhelmed, but I'm going to give a really simple tutorial for people just like me that might be cosplaying for the first time. I might be overwhelmed with all the different ways to do things and different videos online. Um, so you start out really basic with everything. Before you get started, you need some sort of idea. So like I drew mine out, like a general overview of what I wanted and I didn't end up going with the original one I drew out. I ended up drawing other versions which is okay. Just get your ideas out on paper because you need to get them out of your mind. And then once I had a general idea of what I wanted I went to the dollar store and I bought craft foam sheets. They're like in the kids aisle. Little kids, you know, cut them up at like daycare and stuff. Um, it looks like this kind of material and I basically cut it out. I just cut out my idea. I measured myself with tape roughly, like measuring tape, and then I just cut out my design. So like this is my breast idea, kind of like a little, like an under boob design. This is what I was going for. So this is what it looks like before any kind of aesthetic um, construction. After that, um, you need to go out and you need to buy spray paint. Um, don't use like brush paint, just buy spray paint. I bought this stuff, Liquidex, Liquitex, yeah. I've watched so many tutorials of people that use different paints, but just use any brand that is latex spray paint and it should be good. So I bought this um, silver and what I did is after I was done cutting out my design, I just spray painted it. I put it on the, the ground and I just did that and then it looked like this and it's looking a little bit more like armor. I didn't do any kind of crazy um, like solidifying the foam or anything like that. As long as you don't put too much spray paint it won't get soggy. Um, just don't overdo it. You'll know if you overdo it because you'll it'll look like crap. Um, and then once you have your individual pieces you can start putting them together. So with the armor design, um, I ended up buying these tiny little wing back things. I don't really... Brads, that's what they're called. I don't know, is it focusing on? Can you see it? So they're like little wing back things. And what I did is I just poked them into the armor. You can see on the flip side that they're sticking out. And I use, like, if they're used um, to hold the armor together, but then in the finished design, they look like actual bullets of the armor, so it's a really cool technique that um, I picked up online. And it looks something like that when they're attached together. This is not painted because I like painted properly because I ran out of spray paint. So um, then you need to mold it. Once you've done spray painting your individual pieces, you need to start shaping them. So this is a shoulder piece, and to mold them, it's a very simple process. You just use your stove. Some people use um, guns, like heat guns, but you don't really need them. If you want to like feel professional, go ahead and buy one. Um, but the stove worked fine for me. So we're going to get this. I'm going to get this with this piece. You just feel for the heat and then hold the foam just a little bit above it until you'll feel it start to get a little limp and just move it around so that it's evenly it's really simple once it's good and limp and you can feel that the heat has really affected it just take it and put it on the part that you want to mold it doesn't need to be perfect just generally so that it shapes to your form See, this is sticking out, so just 
bend that down a little bit, take it off, move it around. Now you'll see it's formed. And then once you add all of your pieces together, as I said, this is a shoulder piece, it will look something like this. Okay? And as you can see, all the bullets, it looks like a, it, the bullets are actually holding the piece together, but it also aesthetically looks like this. I just added because it looks good and it kind of holds it together. I just used crazy glue and got some silver string. And then this piece would go on like this. Hope I'm not ruining it. And it would just sit like that. This part I'm attaching to the breastplate that I haven't finished that I showed earlier. This took me a while to do, trial and error. And then once you, um, one, it's very simple. You just repeat this process, different designs. I use the same design for my shoulder plate that I used on my boots. So these are my boots. Boots were a little bit more complicated because I had to get like the toe pieces right. Um, now this, this piece is, um, the shoulder piece is incomplete. I haven't done any scratch marks or any kind of wear and tear um, look, but on the boots I have. And if the camera will show, you can see that the bullets are a little bit like rustic looking. Can you see that, Ron? And down here, and I've added like scratch marks and stuff. It's not super good, but it's, you know, it's my first time, so I think it's okay. Um, and to do that, all you needed to do is very simple. Three things. Black paint, a container to hold the paint, and a brush. And all you do is you put the paint in, dab your brush in like this, get a piece of paper, make sure that it's not overly um, soaked with the paint, dab it like this until it's like not a lot of paint is on it, and then take it and just brush over it like this. Probably a lot is going to get on and it's not going to look good. That's okay. Just go with it. Keep brushing it over just like this. And then what you do is once all of the bullets have that black um, rust kind of look on it, take the spray paint. I know I have to get those out. Take the spray paint and just over it a little bit and the, the silver will help disguise it. Is it running out of time? No. Should I pause it? No. No, it's okay. I'm almost done. Um, so... And then once you have um, all that completed, you will get pieces that look like this. Like this is my loincloth. I just bought a belt from Value Village, some metallic looking uh, cloth. Put it over like my groin area, shaped it all out. Um, like this, this is my butt plate. Can you see the, the that's what, it, and then I just went like that. Um, and yeah. So that's pretty much it. It's really simple. I didn't want to bring a whole bunch of different stuff though. I didn't use a whole bunch of different stuff, but hopefully that's really basic and you're not too overwhelmed. It's super fun. As long as you're like really into it, you're, you're going to have a blast. So enjoy making your own costume. <laughs>